relaxing after dinner. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, March 25th, 2012. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Got a couple of things for you. Uh, first of all, I uh, want to wish a very special and happy birthday to Fred, uh, one of my best friends for, what, coming up on 20 years here. He is today uh, 39. That's what we're saying. He's 39 today. So happy birthday to Fred. That was him in the video from earlier this year when we were down in Florida. We had a, such a great time. And, uh, well, happy birthday, Fred. I want to say that I'm sorry I missed, did not do a video yesterday. Uh, I had said on the Friday's video that I would be doing a video on, not on Sunday, but on Saturday. Well, as it turns out, I wound up not doing one on Saturday, and I'm doing one today on Sunday. And you can blame Jill Mailer for that, because she gave me this. Jill gave me this book, and she said, hey, give it a read. I'm like, yeah, I'll start to read it, and I'll get back to it later, like many books that I have up here. But you know what? It didn't work out that way. I read this thing. Uh, she gave it to me in less than 24 hours. I had it finished. This is an incredible, incredible book. Hold it on this side. This is an incredible book. I'm really looking forward to the next one. I'm going to give myself a few days before I actually uh, get the next book and start it because uh, there are other things I have to remember to do like eat, sleep, shower, things like that. When I'm reading this book, I don't. I just read. So it's a great book. I highly recommend it. I'm going to go and see uh, the movie that just came out sometime this week. Uh, if you want to go, give me a call and let me know. Uh, 230-5610. I'm probably going to go to my matinee if you're interested. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, I had been promising that I would tell you guys about... Uh, I had made reference on a couple of videos to something called Prevagen. Uh, what that was is I heard a radio at the John Tesh radio show, uh, which I don't really listen to, but it does come on my radio when I'm driving around once in a while. So I was listening and was talking, and there was a really great ad for something called Prevagen. Okay, got to get that right. Prevagen. Uh, it was supposedly increase your, keep your cells in your brain newer, increase your memory, that kind of stuff. Sounded really good. Well, I decided to do some research and find out. So uh, I was just going to buy it and take it and, you know, be kind of an experiment. And uh, the uh, logical side of me said, no, you just don't take things just because something's, you know, on the radio says that it's good. So what I did was it sold at Walgreens. So I went to Walgreens, uh, found this stuff. Uh, I was kind of shocked. Uh, it was, it's like $43 for a bottle. I'm not sure how many pills, but it was a small bottle. Great packaging, incredible packaging. Uh, before I bought it, though, I went ahead and went up and talked to the pharmacist and asked him, you know, uh, to tell me what he thinks of it. Well, I guess because the product is on their shelves, they, uh, you know, they're not going to talk bad about it, <laughs> which I don't blame them for. But what he did do is he told me, you know, that they have, say they've found some benefits, that he has no firsthand knowledge of it, yada, yada, yada. But uh, that there are simpler solutions out there. Uh, taking fish oil uh, can increase your memory. I'm, I'm not going to go into how to increase your memory. What I'm going to say is talk to your pharmacist because they naturally know uh, what things can help you and what things don't. Wow, this video is getting long. One of my longest ever. Okay, so anyway, I did do a little bit more research uh, on the Prevagen online. Uh, I, I'm sorry to say that I don't have didn't get anything really positive to say about it other than uh, it's geared towards people my age and above, and that's 40s and above, uh, with the packaging and the price and all that kind of stuff to get people to take it. I did read one thing on the internet, and I'm not sure if I should say it or not, but it was something someone else wrote, uh, supposedly a doctor that was on the internet that said, if you drink like three sodas a day and you cut back to two sodas a day, you get more of, you, there's more... You're helping yourself more than taking this stuff. So one less soda a day or $42 a month for this stuff. Tough call, but that was one doctor and it was something I read online. I, I, it said he was a doctor, but uh, needless to say, it was a great radio ad, but uh, not uh, not anything that I w truly want to be involved in. I'm going to stick with my regular vitamins and stuff like that. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, I'm going to be doing making some changes. Um, I've been told my show is kind of boring, so I'm going to try and uh, make it a little bit better. Uh, so you guys, give me some ideas, some thoughts, some hints on what you'd like to see me do. Talk about anything you'd like to see. Please let me know because I want to make it better. I want to make it for you. Also, if you would, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube so that uh, we can get, get more hits so I can become more famous and popular. Now, I don't really care about that. I just want to know that you guys are actually watching. Click the like and subscribe, please. You guys have a great Sunday. Have a great weekend. I may not have a video for the next couple of days just because I'm working on some cool stuff for a video or maybe just a partial thing, but I will let you know. Keep watching. 
Have a great weekend.